In a new sign that Americans are ready to move on from the pandemic, more people traveled by air over the weekend than at any point since the crisis began. And now the latest concern for health officials is the loosening of restrictions across several states, fearing it could lead to another wave of infections. CBS 4's Errol Barnett is at Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey. <laughs> In San Jose, California, Kathy Anderson reunited with her daughter for the first time in a year. I love you too. Anderson is one of the millions of Americans who returned to the skies this weekend, shattering pandemic travel records. Increased demand prompted Delta Airlines to temporarily open up middle seats, and Americans' domestic bookings are at 90% of pre pandemic levels. It just seems like all of a sudden it's a rush. Larry Pettis says he felt more comfortable flying because he'd been fully vaccinated. He's one of the 61 million Americans, roughly one-fifth of U.S. adults, who fall in that category. We know for vaccinated people it's reasonably safe to do this, but among unvaccinated people it is not yet. And I'm worried that it's going to lead to, unfortunately, more infections and more hospitalizations. Dr. Ashish Jha says decreased testing, relaxation of public health measures, and new variants are now contributing to the spread of COVID in several states. It really is a race right now between these variants that have become widespread and are spreading much more effectively and quickly and how many people we can protect through vaccines. The variant initially detected in the UK now accounts for about 26% of COVID cases in the US. And this weekend, officials announced a new variant initially identified in India was found in the Bay Area. It's actually just made up of a couple of other variants that we've seen elsewhere. The data so far suggests that it may be more contagious like the UK variant is. Now, as scary as that sounds, Joss says that the vaccines do appear effective against the new variants and more Americans are getting vaccinated, which is welcome news for the travel industry. The sector really being battered by the pandemic. Hotel and leisure businesses added 280,000 jobs during the month of March, but the unemployment rate is still twice the national average at roughly 13%. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Newark, New Jersey.